Hello, it's Miss Janelle from the Ella Johnson Library District, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We have a very fun science experiment in store for you. Before we get started, it's very important that you make sure you have a helper with you or an adult, and always make sure you have protective gear, goggles, gloves, or whatever is comfortable for you. Are you ready to get started? We are going to be making a rubber egg today. First, we're going to talk a little bit about eggs. This is just a regular old egg from my fridge. An egg is comprised of several parts. Now, when we make a rubber egg, we're going to make some of the parts disappear. Before we get to that, I'm going to explain a little bit about the structure. Inside, we're very familiar with the egg yolk, the parts that we eat. Well, that clear stuff around the egg yolk that looks a little bit like snot is called the albumin. That kind of protects the yolk. Around the albumin is a thin membrane that we barely ever see right before we get to the outside of the egg, which is the shell. Another part of the egg that we don't often see is an air cell. That's the part of the egg that you can kind of hear a little bit when you shake an egg. It's a little pocket that's barely visible. So these are all the parts of our egg. Now for our rubber egg experiment, we're going to be magically making the shell disappear. What you'll need is, of course, an egg, a container with a lid, very important to make sure it has a lid, and vinegar. It could be any vinegar you have on hand. I happen to have white vinegar, but anything will do. All right, so you need to make sure that you put your egg inside of your container, and then you're going to fill the container up with vinegar all the way over top of the egg. Now, I'm gonna let this sit here while I talk, and you can kind of see what's happening already, is bubbles are forming around the outside of the egg. What's happening is a chemical reaction. The vinegar is an acid and the shell is a base. So slowly the vinegar will dissolve the shell the longer it sits inside. Kind of like a reaction between baking soda and vinegar because the shell is made of calcium carbonate. Now as the shell disappears, the egg will slowly start to expand. This happens through a process called osmosis. That's when water enters through the tissue of an object. Now, as you sit here, we can see the shell is slowly starting to come off. Now you're going to keep your egg inside your container. Make sure to put a lid on it. And it's going to sit for approximately 24 to 48 hours, maybe even longer if you have really fresh eggs. Once you're done letting it sit in the vinegar, you're going to empty out the vinegar and rinse your egg off. And what you will get is a rubber egg. You can see the shell is completely gone off the egg. And one of my favorite things to do you can see right through it. So another fun experiment you can do with your rubber egg is another experiment with osmosis. You can place your egg in a jar with a lid full of water and a little bit of food coloring. What's going to happen is the egg will expand slowly and fill with colored water turning the whole inside of the egg whatever color you choose. In this case, it would be red. What happens is because the shell is gone in our rubber egg, the process of osmosis happens even quicker. So the water is coming through the very thin, tiny holes in the membrane of our egg, and it will slowly start to expand like a water balloon. All right, so that was our rubber egg experiment. Now we're not quite done yet. There's a part two. So follow along to the second video where we are going to engineer a safety basket for our egg to drop it. See you soon.